Seriously, you'll yeah. know, hey, the yard work's going to get done. Right? <laughs> Plenty of help. A 50 year holiday tradition kicks off today in West Michigan Eastern Florals Annual Open House. It's going to be different this year. Stop me if you heard that before. They're going to call it Festive Fridays. Every Friday, starting today through the month of November, Eastern Floral will host the holiday event at its Grand Rapids location. It has activities for kids, safely packaged treats, local holiday gifts, a s'more station, and more. And each Festive Friday will benefit a different local nonprofit. Proceeds from today are going to support the Refugee Education Center. For more details about Festive Fridays, just visit easternfloral.com or check out their Facebook event page. Seeing lots of Christmas trees on Facebook. Oh, Christmas is already... Uh, if it sparks joy, that's what I say. Okay. Wait, Marie Kondo said that. Okay. All right, well, it appears the parade will not go on after all. The Grand Rapids JCs announced that their annual Santa Parade is now off this year. They say they're grateful for the community support, but said they made the decision with public health and safety in mind. The event was planned as a reverse parade where the public would drive by to see floats mm -hmm. lining the streets. But you know, it just it is it is what it is this year, right? Mm, parades out, but the cups are in. Starbucks mm -hmm. unveiled their new cups, the holiday cups for the season. Here they are. Starting today, customers will have their drinks served in one of these four festive cups. They rolled out the first time they did this, I think was 1997, so it's been over 20 years now. They're meant to drum up excitement for the coffee chain and spread some holiday cheer. This year's theme is Carry the Merry. I like that. Starbucks said in a press release it's about people carrying the cups out into the world as messengers of joy. Also today, you can get a free reusable version of the holiday cup. To qualify, all you have to do is just order one of Starbucks seasonal drinks and you're in the drawing. Hmm. The Binder Park Zoo welcomed oh, oh its God. newest family member over the weekend. It looks just like you, Todd. Thank you. They shared a few photos, too, so check it out. This is, is it Colobus monkey? I'm sure. Okay. Born on Halloween morning. I just can't get over that little face. It's actually the first primate born in Binder Park in nearly five years. The zoo doesn't know the baby's gender yet. They likely, uh, they have to take a hands-off kind of approach with this new family member, of course, as you can imagine. But we're told he appears to be it. He, I guess everybody's a he. I don't it know. It appears to be yeah, healthy. Yeah. And the first time parents are also doing well. Guests can see the little one in person when the zoo reopens on April 15th. Colobus monkeys, by the way, are native to Africa. And the fun fact is, it's the Greek word for mutilated. Huh. Because unlike other monkeys, the, the Colobus monkeys do not have thumbs. They don't have thumbs? They get through life without thumbs? You said it looked like me. Like take, a look at that. Take, a, take a look at that little face. Oh. Now think of Mike Davis. Mike Davis? Yeah. Davis. Don't, don't you think? He should be in here to defend himself at least. Defend himself? No, it's, they're both ridiculously cute. Oh, that's where right. you were going. Yeah, Davis. Yeah. Hey, three iconic toys have been... <laughs> I'm going to get an email. Mm. Three iconic toys have been inducted into the Toy Hall of Fame. Here we go. We told Maybe you about I need this. to see the headset on it. Yeah, if there was a headset on the monkey, <laughs> yes. then it would look just like Davis. Yes. yes. We had, you said you could vote for these earlier this year, and these are the winners. Baby Nancy, the first black doll to have an afro and dark skin, made it. The groundbreaking doll launched in 1968. That toy was credited as making cultural and commercial breakthroughs in the United States. Sidewalk Chalk has also been inducted masterpieces created all over the country, all over the world sure because of those year. little sticks. Mm -hmm. People use the chalk to play games outside like hopscotch, tic-tac-toe, foursquare. Boy, we did that. We did that this summer. And then last but not least, Jenga. According to the manufacturer, the wooden block game was created in Ghana in the 1970s. <laughs> the record for the highest known Jenga tower is 40 complete stories. Can't get higher than that. Oh. Jenga. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and sidewalk chalk, obviously, that Toy Hall of Fame, I mean, that's a no-brainer. How much sidewalk chalk did you guys go through this summer? They were a lot because they decided to grind it down oh, yes. and go... then add the water and mix it up. Oh. Yeah, so Joy. it turned into sidewalk paint mm -hmm. is what they made it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey,